Hello and welcome to a new video from K Steve Math. Uh, I went ahead and finally got the HP Prime graphing calculator so that I can unbox it, show you what it looks like, and in a, a future video, but not too far off, um, do a comparison of it with uh, the TI 84 Plus and probably also the TI Inspire to kind of compare those three. This was $149.99, so it's a, it's a hefty, hefty amount. Um, so some things I'm noticing from the box that are super exciting is it says it's approved for the SAT, uh, the AP exams, and the IB exams. Interesting that it doesn't say ACT, and I'm curious if that's because it's not allowed on the ACT. Definitely we'll need to investigate that further. Um, and also interesting is it says CAS, which stands for Computer Algebra System. And so the significance there is that a calculator with a computer algebra system can actually do a lot more than one without. And that actually might be why, if it's not approved for the ACT, uh, because there is the potential that you could use apps on it to like solve equations and things like that in ways that you, you can't do that if you don't have a computer algebra system. So we'll have to check that out at some point. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the back. It also says PSAT. Let's see. It does specify that you can use it on Calculus AB, Calculus BC, Statistics, Physics 1, Physics 2, Physics C, and Chemistry. Let's see, 3D graphing. That's also, I think, because there's a computer algebra system, but that's cool. The statistics package. Yeah, so this looks exciting. Gonna open it up with some scissors, which of course is going to be super easy to do, as all plastic packaging is. Uh, interesting. I don't, I wonder if it's like a, there is a thing, <laughs> there's a thing on the top there that, uh, I just popped out. I, maybe so that you can make sure that you're grabbing the right cord. It does come with a cord. So, that's not weird. So let's see if we can do this. Obviously these are probably not the most powerful scissors I'd be using, but that's fine. Make it work. Hopefully this is the most challenging part of the process. Okay, make some progress. <laughs> but not enough progress. Let me in, let me in. Share your secrets with me. Do not stab myself. That would be one way to perhaps go viral. Uh, not the way I'm hoping for, but technically it's technically an option. Wouldn't it be hilarious if the package was actually designed to be open a certain way? An easier way than what I'm doing than them. Oh, no, they wouldn't want this to be super easy to get into because you kind of notice what people like to steal things from stores. Actually, this, yeah. All right. Uh, okay, we've got two cords here, more plastic. Oh, now. This is going awesome. So much. That was a lot of a lot of hard work. I don't know if you could tell. There we go. Get that out of here. I am worried that we may need to charge it here right away. What in the world? Uh, so this is a wall outlet, I guess, but not, it wasn't put together. Is that the right way? Or it, okay, good. They idiot proofed it. 
uh, picking off all the plastic. Okay, what are these cords here? We've got a probably linking cord, USB to USB, and this looks like it's supposed to be the uh, charging cord. Because we've got USB. This is a weird looking USB. I wonder what what's up with this rubber thing. Rubber safety shield. Attach your USB cables for use when attached to power adapter, not necessary when connected to a PC. Okay. Not sure why we would need that. Okay. All right, here we go. We're moving this right here. Oh, it's so pretty. Nothing I love more than a brand new calculator. Okay, I thought this might be the case. This is, uh, uh, you know, to make it so that the battery wouldn't be used. Welcome, slide to unlock, I'm already excited. But did I need to slide in English? Like if I slide now, is it going to be the wrong language? So at this point, I did go ahead and play around with the calculator some, but because of the like angle of the camera, you couldn't really see uh, what was happening or what I was doing. So I will plan to do that on a separate video to kind of go through the basic functions that I could think of. Um, I'm already pretty impressed with the calculator. I was able to do pretty simple like math on it that, you know, you might decide you want to use a calculator for like multiplication or was able to change decimals to fractions. I was able to find um, most of the buttons that I feel like would be necessary uh, for doing math in this day and age. And so that was all nice. Uh, there were some cool things about graphing, but it was a little tricky at first to figure out where graphing was. So I'm, I'm going to do some videos definitely on, on that, uh, particular topic of like, how do you do certain things on the HP prime? And also I'm going to do a video soon that compares the HP Prime, TI Inspire, and TI-84 Plus. And um, probably we'll do that after I've had a chance to explore the HP Prime quite a bit, because I don't want to be completely biased towards TI, just because I've been using TI my entire life. Uh, well, and you know, Algebra 2 and up, I guess, would be... I don't think we used them in Algebra 1. so. So I've been using TI calculators for a while and I like them. Um, in particular, the 84 series is a really nice series. I actually have a hard time using, oh, I have a TI 89 too that I could put in the mix. Um, I have a hard time with the TI 89 and the TI Inspire because they're just different enough that you have to sit there and go, okay, wait, how do I do this on this calculator? So look for that coming up soon. I've got other things too that I'm working on. Um, some summer projects that I think will be fun. And so um, please like the video if you haven't already and also hit that subscribe button with maybe the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when I post a new video. I'll do, although I, I do, I have been posting a lot of videos <laughs> over the past year. So I would not be surprised if you didn't want to get notifications because I certainly wouldn't. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular you want to know about the HP, HP Prime Calculator in a future video or any other questions you have. And um, yeah, I'll see you in another video. Thanks. Bye.